guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Octo Bottom is coming just with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the folks at Mattel, we're gonna be taking a look at their new Jurassic World Dino Rivals Dual Attack Concavenator. For the package, much like all of the new Jurassic World figures, you get this really nice open display that allows you to kind of play with the figure and try out some of his features, specifically uh, his dual attack. I love this Jurassic World, Jurassic Park logo here in the back, which kind of looks like it's on fire and then fades, which looks really very cool. Coming around to the back of the package, you can see the uh, various action attacks in motion. And then other figures that are in this dual attack line. Now this is not part of the mega dual attack. The mega ones are the slightly bigger dinosaurs. Uh, now, much like all of the other Jurassic World figures, you can use this in conjunction with the Jurassic World Facts app, which gives you some facts and some images and things of that nature for the dinosaur. And you can also uh, view the collector card information on there. You do get the card here with a nice image of the dinosaur and then some of his tech specs. Those tech specs are on the app now as well. But uh, for the packaging on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have the Concavenator open up and out of his packaging, and this guy really does look terrific. He is such a weird looking dinosaur. Uh, a lot of, I mean, he looks very similar to like an Allosaurus, uh, but he's got this almost backwards looking shark fin on the back of him, which is terrific. I absolutely love it. It's so weird looking, and it's amazing because that's roughly what they feel this dinosaur looked like. I mean, he's so out of this world. Uh, I mean, just absolutely awesome. Now, much like all of these new dino rival figures, you do get this nice collector card. You spin around here. You got a nice cartoony kind of image of him with his tech specs. Uh, as I mentioned in the uh, Sukumimus review, they are fairly thin. They're a little bit thicker than paper, but not as thick as a normal collector card. So that is a little bit unfortunate. But as I said, at least you get something. Now coming in to take a closer look at this weird beast, uh, absolutely gorgeous sculpt work. This is an all new figure with an all new sculpt on him. Absolutely gorgeous looking, but you can see you got a lot of really nice uh, bumps and wrinkles, some scales. I mean, everything looks great on him. Uh, the eye color looks really nice. Gorgeous detail with the mouth. As you can see, his mouth is permanently open like that. Uh, but again, uh, some of these I feel it works with. Some of them I don't. The Sukumimus and uh, Concavenator here, I feel it works okay leaving the mouth open. Come around here to the back. You can see some really nice coloration in this as well. You see a little bit of purple thrown in there with this uh, dark Ma not magenta, but like dark red. Uh, the only thing that I feel is a little bit weird is when you come down to the tail, it goes from having these uh, this coloring on the uh, outer section of the body and the, the spines and everything to a gold color, which is kind of strange. I guess, and then the coloration on the spine, which uh, again, looks really good. When you get to the uh, lower section of the tail, you have a little bit of that ridge there, that stops. So it's a little unfortunate, but I still think that the uh, paint applications are pretty good on them. You're looking at the detail here underneath, you can see that uh, it's a consistent color underneath the body. Uh, as I said before, I am not going to be doing the uh, Jurassic World Facts app in these uh, videos going forward. They're all basically the same. But if you do want to add it to your collection, you can go ahead and scan the bottom of this guy's foot and you can add him to your app yourself. Uh, but you can see pretty good detail with uh, the hands. I'm wanting to see, it's hard to tell. It does kind of look like they actually have his fingernails painted, which is Nice. Uh, I mean, it's it's really hard to tell, but I think that they got it. Uh, when you look at the bottom section here of his feet, the nails here are painted, so that's really very good. But overall, great detail again on this entire thing. Both sides uh, look absolutely amazing. They really do capture a very cool look for it. You can see the different buttons up here. As this is the dual attack, it does have two attack features. So coming back here, taking a look at that, really very simple. You have a button right here, which controls the mouth closing gimmick. So you can rock, 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 rock. 
Me evil dinosaur. Rawr. And then the large backward shark fin uh, actually whips the tail. So you can see it only has one joint right here, whereas the Suchomimus had two connections, uh, mostly because it's a larger dinosaur. This one only has one. Uh, I do kind of wish that it, it had a little bit of that same kind of floppy gimmick right here so both sections of the tail could move just it would make it look a little bit more uh, realistic as opposed to this but then you would have to I mean I don't even know what necessarily I mean you could have probably done something like this where just you made it flop side to side I, I don't think you needed to make it uh, part of the gimmick to uh, have the the mechanism in there but I, I feel like you could have just put a floppy joint like how this is right there without having it attached so that's a little bit unfortunate uh, his articulation is uh, basically the same that all the dinosaurs have that are part of the uh, either the action attack or are this new uh, dual attack kind of thing you've got ball joints here for the uh, hips one thing that i'm noticing is that uh, unlike the sukumimus this guy right here you do have that like locking point right there so he stands perfect uh whether you have them like this you can uh get them even further down well i mean that leg don't go far but you can get something like that you can get a tall pose with them uh, as tall as you can with the tail right there so uh, the different posing options are definitely there for him uh like i said having this oh does his ankles rotate uh, his ankles actually don't rotate so it's a little bit more limited uh a, a lot of the uh the posing options are kind of limited to uh the different positions that you're going to be able to kind of stand him in uh, but at least he stands unlike the sukumimus uh the tail um it does kind of flop i guess you could kind of say that's an articulation point i mean if you i mean you can't really bend it and keep it there it's gonna sort of spring back so you can't really pose that too much uh these arms up here very muscular looking arms unlike a t-rex uh, these have those pin hinge joints so you can position those out and kind of get poses with that nothing at the neck and the mouth is permanently open like that it doesn't bother me because that's the type of dinosaur he's going to be so it, it works pretty good uh, for his size uh, let's do some measuring here from his tail to his snout you're looking at about a foot long uh, so that's pretty good this guy here is going at uh, what is that about six uh, five and a half inches or so if you angle him back you're going to get a little bit more play with the size uh, about six and a half inches uh, because he is part of that uh, dual attack line uh, here he is and then bringing in the sukumimus which is a bigger dinosaur let's see if i can get him to stand for me <laughs> he's not gonna want to he's not gonna want to so here let me there we go. <laughs> I mean, you can see that uh, the Mega Dual Attack do have a bigger uh, sort of feel to them, but I think that that works really very nicely. It, it allows you to have different scales of dinosaurs, different sizes of dinosaurs. I mean, all that stuff works really nicely when you have the different uh, kind of size classes. So it works really well. Overall, again, another uh, terrific uh, figure. Uh, he's a very unique dinosaur. Uh, he's not a very well-known dinosaur. I mean, I don't even, I didn't even know this dinosaur, who, who he was, what his name was, anything of that nature. I mean, he's just uh, very obscure looking. I do have to give a huge shout out to a buddy of mine who himself is a huge Jurassic fan and he's been helping me a lot with basically getting the names right for the most part for these guys so shout out to you master builder 164 you can check out his youtube channel at master builder 164 gaming and reviews give him some love he's really helped out my videos very much lately but this guy like i said is terrific and again i do have to send a huge shout out to the folks over at mattel for helping to make this review and many others coming possible but beyond that guys that's about it remember if you like this video i would really appreciate your support simply by hitting that thumbs up button that one small action really can go a long way towards helping me out and i would really appreciate it also a huge Thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, 
Thank you. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid. Mr. Cavenator. <laughs> <laughs>